Niagara Falls is one of the most famous places in the world. It is also one of the biggest and most powerful waterfalls. Every year, more than 30 million people visit to see its rushing water and hear its loud roar. The falls sit between Canada and the United States, making it a breathtaking sight for all who visit. But in 1969, something very strange happened. Something no one ever thought was possible. A team of engineers and scientists decided to stop the water from flowing. It took them over four years to complete this massive task. Then, for the first time in thousands of years, Niagara Falls ran dry. People couldn't believe their eyes. At first, the plan was for something completely different. But as the researchers explored the dry riverbed, they found something shocking, something hidden beneath the water for years. What they discovered was a secret so unexpected that it would change how people saw Niagara Falls forever. Anyone who has ever visited Niagara Falls, whether a tourist or a local, can agree on one thing. It is truly breathtaking. The sight of the powerful water crashing down, the mist rising into the air, and the deep roar of the falls make it an unforgettable experience. Many people feel a deep connection to nature when they stand before this mighty wonder. Some even find themselves thinking about life in a new way, realizing just how small they are compared to the forces of nature. But something was about to happen that no one could have imagined. Niagara Falls had amazed people for centuries, and its rushing waters seemed unstoppable. It was a place of beauty, power, and history, yet everything was about to change. A decision had been made, one that would shock the world. The plan? To stop the mighty Niagara Falls. To drain it completely. But why? Who would even think of doing such a thing? And more importantly, what would they find hidden beneath the water once it was gone? No one knew it, yet. But the falls were about to reveal secrets buried for centuries. Secrets that would leave people speechless. The big question on everyone's mind was, why would anyone want to stop Niagara Falls? The answer wasn't simple, but there were important reasons behind it. The first was to save this natural wonder from being damaged over time. The powerful water had been wearing away the American Falls for years, slowly breaking down the rocks beneath. If nothing was done, this part of Niagara Falls could disappear one day. For the towns and businesses nearby, this was a huge problem. The falls weren't just a beautiful sight. They brought in millions of visitors every year. The local communities depended on the tourists who came to see the mighty waterfall. So, people came together to start a campaign to protect Niagara Falls before it was too late. But no one could have guessed what they were about to uncover. It took years of careful study and planning to figure out how to stop something as powerful as Niagara Falls. No one had ever tried it before, and no one was sure if it would even work. But once the plan was ready, the first step was set into motion. The biggest challenge? Stopping the water. Engineers spent years researching the best way to do it, and finally, they came up with a bold solution. They managed to slow down the rushing water from 60,000 gallons per second to just 15,000 gallons. It seemed impossible, but they had done it. This gave workers a rare chance to clear out all the debris that had built up over time. But for scientists, something even more exciting happened. With the falls nearly dry, they could take incredible aerial photos of Niagara Falls from above. Pictures that no one had ever seen before and might never see again. What else would they find now that the mighty falls had been stopped? No one was prepared for what came next. Now that the falls were dry, researchers finally had a chance to see everything clearly and make a long-term plan. But they had to move fast. Even though draining Niagara Falls had been carefully planned for years, the actual process only took six hours. Before they knew it, the water was flowing again, and everything seemed to be back to normal. At first, it looked like a success. The workers had cleared out all the debris, and scientists had captured rare photos from above to help with future studies. It seemed like their job was done. But little did they know, this was just the beginning. It didn't take long before they realized that all their hard work wasn't enough. What they found beneath the water shocked them. The dry riverbed revealed something unexpected, something that made them realize they needed more time. The erosion was worse than they thought, and parts of the falls were at serious risk. There was only one solution. They couldn't just slow the water down again. They had to stop Niagara Falls completely. It was a decision no one had ever made before and no one knew what they would find once they did. Would the falls give up more of its hidden secrets? Or would they discover something even more shocking than before? One thing was certain. 
Niagara Falls was not done surprising them. Anyone who has ever seen Horseshoe Falls, the most famous part of Niagara Falls on the Canadian side, knows how powerful it is. This section carries an incredible 90% of all the water that rushes through the falls. Just the thought of stopping that much water seemed impossible. One big question stood out. It's one thing to know what needs to be done, but another to figure out how to actually do it. Stopping Niagara Falls completely was something no one had ever attempted before. The idea seemed almost unthinkable, but the team wasn't ready to give up. Since they had already found a way to slow the water once, they believed they could take the next step. It wouldn't be easy and it wouldn't be quick, but they were willing to try. So a new plan was set in motion. This time, they wouldn't just reduce the water flow, they would stop it completely. It was a massive operation, and it would take two more years to complete. The engineers and researchers had prepared for many challenges. But this? This was something far beyond anything they had expected. Would they actually succeed in stopping one of the most powerful waterfalls on Earth? And if they did, what else would be revealed beneath the roaring waters? Only time would tell. But one thing was certain. Niagara Falls still had secrets to share. The engineers knew that if they wanted to stop Niagara Falls, they had to do something extreme. They needed to build a temporary dam, something most people would never believe was possible. But that's exactly what they did. A dam was built for one single purpose, to stop the mighty water flow of Niagara Falls. It was a huge job, and one can only imagine how long it must have taken to complete. But after endless hours of planning, hard work, and determination, the dam was finally finished. However, their work was far from over. The next task was even more dangerous. Now, workers had to climb to the very top of the falls to remove loose boulders from the riverbed. It was a job that could not be taken lightly. One wrong step, and they could slip and fall down the steep drop. The risk was terrifying. To make sure no one got hurt, engineers set up a lifeline across the river. This safety rope would help protect workers from falling into the deep, empty gorge. But even with the lifeline, the job was nerve-wracking. The falls, now dry, looked even more massive and overwhelming than before. Would the workers be able to clear the rocks without anyone getting hurt? Everyone held their breath. Thankfully, the lifeline didn't need to be used. Every worker made it back safely, and the job was done. The falls had been cleared of debris, and erosion damage was slowed. The plan had worked. But the story didn't end there. Draining and cleaning. Niagara Falls had been a massive success, and the entire team was relieved that no one had been injured. But then something happened that no one expected. As workers explored the dry riverbed, they realized that falling off the edge wasn't even the scariest part of this operation. They were about to uncover something that would send chills down their spines. For the first time in 12,000 years, Niagara Falls had stopped flowing. It was a sight no one had ever witnessed before, and people from all over came to see this once-in-a-lifetime event. At first, locals worried that without the roaring waterfalls, tourists would stop visiting. But they couldn't have been more wrong. Crowds kept coming. Why? Because seeing Niagara Falls completely dry was just as unbelievable as seeing it in full force. The falls, normally a raging force of nature, now stood still, silent and exposed. But with the water gone, something was waiting beneath. Something no one was ready for. What had been hidden for thousands of years. What was buried beneath the rushing waters. The truth was about to be revealed, and it would shock everyone. No one was prepared for what would be discovered next. Something that would stay in people's minds forever. At first, visitors noticed something unexpected on the dry riverbed. Hundreds, maybe thousands, of coins scattered across the ground. Over the years, people had tossed them into the falls, making wishes, never expecting them to be seen again. But now, with the water gone, these coins lay in plain sight. Excited tourists climbed down to collect them as souvenirs, eager to take home a small piece of history. But while some gathered coins, others took things even further. A few daring individuals ventured dangerously close to the edge of the dry waterfalls. What they saw next was enough to make their excitement turn to shock. Among the rocks and dried-up riverbed, something far more haunting was uncovered. The thrill of collecting old coins was soon replaced by a chilling realization. Hidden beneath the water all this time were the remains of two people, a man and a woman, who had met a tragic end in the falls. It was a sobering discovery. A reminder of just how powerful and dangerous Niagara Falls had always been. 
No one knew their story, who they were, how they ended up there, or when it had happened. But one thing was clear. The Falls had held on to their secrets for years, only revealing them now, when the water had finally disappeared. Yet, the story of Niagara Falls was far from over. Despite this shocking discovery, one truth remained. Niagara Falls had lived through more history than anyone could ever imagine. For over 12,000 years since the Ice Age, it had stood as a witness to time. It had inspired explorers, travelers, and dreamers. Even now, with the water flowing once again, it continued to amaze those who visited. But could there be more secrets buried beneath the rushing water, still waiting to be uncovered? Perhaps one day, Niagara Falls will go silent again. And when it does, who knows what else it might reveal.